Hi, this is Rabbi Daniel Rabin, a rabbi at the Northeastern Jewish Center. So behind me is a, is a sign which all of us who drive know quite well, the stop sign. A sign which tells us to stop, take a look at our surroundings, make sure we know what's happening, no cars coming, ensure that it's safe to continue traveling. And I believe this little sign that we've all learned to obey and to follow contains a very powerful message that we can learn to apply to our lives in general. And one which I find that our Torah this week teaches us in the portion of Maasei. The portion this week, Maasei means journeys. But yet the Torah speaks about the journeys and yet tells us about all the times the Jewish people encamped. And one should wonder why call it journeys, rather call it encampments. Rather mention that the week's portion should have been called the encampments of the Jewish people. Why the journeys of the Jewish people? And I believe the Torah was teaching us a profound message. You know, I'm reminded by a story which sort of highlights the message the Torah wants to teach us. There was a university student who I was close to who once told me, I cannot wait till I finish my degree. Every time I met him, he was talking about finishing his degree. He never took a moment to stop and perhaps think about and enjoy the times that he was having at university, the friends he was making, the different things that were happening and occurring at the time, but instead he was focusing on the end goal, getting his degree. And I believe the Torah was saying that in the journey of life, we need to stop. We need to understand that there's times when there's encampments, times we need to stop and enjoy our life, take a moment to look at our surroundings, look at our family, look at the things we're involved with and live life, not only thinking about the end goal, but what's happening right here, right now. And therefore I think in our own personal lives, you out there who's watching this, take a moment to stop, look around you, if you have a family, think about, oh, am I spending enough time with that family? If you're at university, stop focusing only on ending, but think about living now. Whatever it might be in your life, look at behind me and take a moment to stop. I'd like to just conclude this by wishing our soldiers and our brothers and sisters in Israel Hatzlacha, success in their mission, and understand that we truly care for you. We truly feel your pain and your joys. And may Hashem bless you with only good things and may we see true peace in the Holy Land in Israel. May it be soon. Shabbat Shalom.